Can you define MAC? Uh, MAC is minimum alveolar concentration. It's uh, a MAC of one is defined as the amount of anesthetic that is required in 50% of 40 year olds to not respond to a surgical stimulus, which was historically a midline incision in the abdomen. And what are the clinic? What's the clinical use of MAC? So MAC is clinically useful because we can measure expired anesthetic gases and we can work out the percentages to determine how deep a patient is to determine if the adequate if, if the patient has adequate depth of anesthesia for whatever surgical stimulus we're planning to inflict upon them. And what factors can affect MAC? Um, so MAC can be affected by both patient factors and anesthetic factors. Patient factors will include uh, any metabolic disturbances such as hypohyperthermia, uh, endocrine disturbances such as hyperthyroidism. Um, physiological factors such as pregnancy can, can reduce MAC. If the patient has any other CNS disturbances, that can, can change MAC. Um, Drugs will have a significant effect on MAC, uh, both in terms of uh, inadvertent drugs being taken by the patient, such as alcohol uh, or amphetamines or other stimulants uh, can reduce or increase MAC respectively, uh, in addition to drugs that we might give the patient like uh, midazolam, dexmedetomidine, clonidine. Um, so I'm just going to stop you there. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all correct. But can you name some agents that have a very high MAC value? Uh, so agents that have a very high MAC value uh, tend to be uh, drugs such as, as nitrous. Um, desflurane has a relatively high MAC value compared to other inhalational anesthetics. Uh, xenon has a high MAC of 0.74. What do you know about xenon? Uh, xenon is a noble gas uh, found in the last column of the periodic table. It is uh, perishingly rare and is very difficult to get hold of, thus making it expensive and impractical for use in clinical anesthesia at present. Uh, but it has a exceptionally low blood gas partition coefficient, making it making for very rapid onset of anesthesia and offset, uh, as well as a um, MAC of 71% thus requiring a, a, fair, a fairly high concentration of inspired xenon to, to achieve anesthesia. Uh, it is not a greenhouse gas like other um, anesthetic gases like desflurane or, or nitrous oxide. Um, okay. and, Do yeah. you know any pharmacodynamic properties of xenon? Uh, pharmacodynamic properties. Uh, so in terms of the targets of xenon, in terms of what it affects, I'm not sure, I'm afraid. Okay. How does it affect um, cerebral blood flow? Uh, so xenon will reduce cerebral blood flow. Okay. And um, that's fine. <laughs>